Welcome back and now news from sports. Goa will go in search of their sixth Santos Trophy title later this week with Jose Colasso as the captain of the state team. Goa will play their first match on Friday against winner of Cluster 5 as the tournament is already in progress in Orissa. Goa being a seeded team will directly feature in the quarter-final league. Goa last won the Santos Trophy in 2008-9. The Goa Football Association on Monday announced a 20-member Kingfisher Goa team for the National Football Championship. The squad will be led by midfielder Jose Colasso of Vasco Sports Club. The team will leave Goa on Tuesday. I didn't take the coaching, coaching staff and the committee for giving a responsibility to me as a captain. And I assure you that they go out there, give our best and try to win the trophy. Here, yeah, yeah. here. Coach Matthew DeCosta believes his youthful team is good enough to win the trophy. I think all these three weeks where we have been together, we have been just telling them because most of the players are youngsters and we are, all my staff, myself, Pascal and Chandragan, are just insisting and putting them in place <coughs> the importance of Santos Trophy for the Goa State. And I'm very much happy that our work all these last three weeks is going on well. And definitely, we want to give the state, which have declared football as the official sport, a trophy when we come back. Keeping this in mind, we are just preparing and we have prepared it well so that we can win the trophy. And definitely, we'll try our best to get the trophy for the Goan state. And with all this sponsorship, we want it to keep for the years to come, for the more, young, more youngsters can get into this game and keep the Goa state flag. Goa squad for Santosh Trophy 2012, Jose Colasso captain, Maclis Moraes, Agnello Nurona, Jay Ganesh Gotlekar, Jessil Carnero, Agnello Barreto, Gary DeMello, Lugencio Cardozo, Wellington Fernandez, Keenan Almeida, Perison Ribello, Sachin Gavis, Jeroz Oliveira, Pratesh Shirodkar, Joel Sequera, Belito de Cruz, Gabriel Fernandez, Agnello Colasso, Rakshak Naik, and Pramod Madokar. Matthew DeCosta is the coach, Pascual Pereira assistant coach, Sandesh Gadekar team physio, Delvin Menezes manager, Babli Mandrekar chief of delegation, and Chandrakan Naik goalkeeper coach. Our sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Prajot Pednekar. After retiring from India career with a legendary status, footballer Bhai Chung Bhutia was completely consumed by a dream of taking his hometown club to the topmost level. That dream has come true. Bhai Chung's United Sikkim will feature in the I League in 2012 13 season, but the veteran striker is leaving the makeup of the squad to the coach. Bhai Chung will be in action though in the new season. Bhai Chung Bhutia's boys are the second team from the northeast to make it to the I League after Lajong FC from Shillong. United Sikkim co owner Bhai Chung says, My dream to take the club to the I League has finally come true. Prudent caught up with Bhai Chung to know more about his plans. It's been very, very uh, tough 14 months managing the club, playing for them, looking sp for investors, uh, sponsors. So it's been very, very difficult. Uh, but I would definitely want to play for United Sikkim in the I League. Uh, and uh, you know it's been it's been tough but great uh, you know last season because we've qualified for the I League and we're going to compete with the best. So uh, you know for me as a, as I would I still want to play and you know, you know get trying to take out time and train with the team. So for the new season, uh, what plans do you have uh, made of? Um, how do you uh, plan I think to build a team for the I League? We've given it completely to our coach so with the budget and he's signing each and every player. So we've not uh, I personally have not got involved in second division when it was I signed person each and every player. But now with I League, we've given it to the coach, so he's doing all the building up. Uh, Baijing, the other day at uh, MUPC finals, you said the clubs have to develop their own Absolutely. player. 
but the, in india we don't have a system where the clubs have the academies and the schools to go with like they have in the foreign countries i think uh, if if india indian football has to grow that's the only way but i think you know we'll have to work on uh, youth development programs has to be strong and that has to be done by the clubs and that's how the federations will have to put criteria and uh, and also see you know uh, how can how can clubs uh, you know benefit out of those uh, criteria and uh, <coughs> the development programs so that's where i think federation clubs will have to work together bureau report prudent media goa may have put up an impressive basketball national series simply but lovers of the sport in goa are crying out for a change in the local association for almost 15 years there are massive allegations against the goa basketball association president and secretary and the biggest is that they are running the body as if it is their personal property the basketball fraternity in the state is looking up to the chief minister manohar parikar to clear the mess in gba one of the key points noticed during the nationals is that the goa teams had a former sai coach despite sports authority of goa having nis gold medalist sandeep alikar in the ranks it is terrible that the association do not have a cordial relationship with sag coaching staff and has to bring a coach from outside on a short notice the coach also admitted that the teams picked for the tournament do not even have a sound basic technique very required basic dribbling passing footwork layup shot these are more important and uh, during these days they only their conditioning the tactical part tactical part rather than technical so if they don't have technique proper then we will be feel difficult there basic technique required there so there is little 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 that is required for the basic techniques basic techniques the selection of teams has been a major point of controversy during this massive tenure of the goa basketball association president sivas and secretary shekhar jain parents and sag basketball coaches have alleged that the teams selected for the tournaments are sons and daughters of some rich parents who pay sponsorships of various kinds and pay up for souvenirs can state teams be fielded this way it's pathetic The sport of basketball has been crying for help ever since the 1990s as reported in the media consistently thereafter but there has been no change in the scenario at all most seem to have resigned to this fate however the new government headed by tough acting manohar parikar has given a new voice to those who feel for basketball chief minister sir and sag executive director elvis gomes are you watching bureau report prudent media Don't worry if you have missed this news bulletin log on to www.prudentmedia.in or you can also catch the latest updates on Twitter by following us at prudent goa meet us on www.facebook.com/prudentmedia and with this we have come to an end of this news bulletin keep watching prudent media goodbye